So basically, first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to click on the first layer, uh, the first video layer, and you're gonna want to go over here and go to the top layer to where the last clip is. Hold down Shift and click on the left mouse button at the same time, and then you're gonna want to click this twice. Click, click. That basically adds frame blending, and then this adds motion blur. You can click that once. And then next thing we're gonna want to do is pre-compose all the clips. So you want to pre-compose that. And then you you can just go. Oh, you can just copy my settings. Make sure you have this clicked and this clicked. Click OK. And then just do that to all the clips. Okay, now that we've got all that, we can go over to effects and presets. Type in S underscore blur no curves and click and drag that to your clip. And I'm gonna be doing zoom in and zoom outs. So we're gonna wanna zoom this in a little bit. But I'm gonna be doing zoom in uh, and zoom outs on this tutorial, so watch till the end. And so at the beginning of the clip, you're gonna wanna click the Z distance. Just set a keyframe, click U to bring up the keyframes. And go to the end of the clip. I'm gonna do it right here so we can see. And then, Type in 0 0.750. And then we're going to want to hover over all of these. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Then we're going to want to bring up the graph editor. And this may look intimidating at first, but it's really simple when you get used to it. So we're going to want to bring this down just a little bit. And then bring this one up just a little bit to where it should look like that and then let's see it okay and then now to add it to all the clips you can click this hit control C and go to the next clip and hit control V and then let's see how it turns out So now we can add the zoom outs. And so basically you're gonna to wanna to click on the clip, drag blur mode curves over again, and then you're gonna to want to zoom in a little bit, and then you're gonna to want to click on the keyframe for Z distance again at the beginning of the clip. But this time you're gonna to want to click on this do 0 0.750 at the beginning instead of the end. You want to go to the end and then click one. And then again, you're going to want to hover over them, keyframe assistant, easy ease, graph editor. Then this time, since it's a zoom out, you're going to want to click the right one down and the left one up. And then We can always adjust it a little bit more if we need to. Just drag some of these a little bit more so it gives more of a graphed look. There we go. And then again, control C, control V, and control V. So now we have this. And so you don't have to do all this every single time that you want to make an edit. You can click on the blur mode curves and you can do this for whichever one, but you'll have to do it separately if, uh, for the zoom in and the zoom out. And so you go and so this would be the zoom ends. And so you go to blur mode curves, control C, and then animation, and then save animation preset. And zoom out. Tutorial. Save. And then you're going to want to restart After Effects when that happens. Okay, and then once you have After Effects open again, you can go zoom out and 
see there it is the one that i saved and then if you want i'll just delete this one and then see i i apply it to this and then i will add that if your clip is longer, you will need to stretch out the length of the keyframes when you use a preset like this. Um, the only reason I was able to just start playing right away is because all the clips are pretty much the same size. And you know, I accidentally named it Zoom Out, even though that was a Zoom In uh, preset, but you know, you can name it whatever you want. Well, thank you for watching, and comment down below what edit tutorials you'd like to see me make next, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.